Good morning, everyone. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I don't know that I've been this excited. <laughs> Since you married me oh. six years ago. Guys, today is a huge day. We are celebrating the reunion of me and a Harley <laughs> Davidson. And it's our anniversary. <laughs> Aren't you so glad you married me? Six long years <laughs> of pure bliss and joy. Count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're on to the second hand. That's incredible. But seriously guys, it is our anniversary and what better way to spend it than on the back of a Harley Davidson Street Glide cruising around Lake Como, Italy. I gotta be honest, we missed a little bit of our American muscle here. So we figured let's go celebrate our anniversary on one of the most beautiful, iconic, scenic roads, maybe on the planet, on a little bit of American muscle. <laughs> I'm already loaded up, ready to go. I don't know about this guy, but I'm ready. <clears throat> We're not far outside of Milan right now where we spent the last couple days. Milan is such a rad city. If you missed that video, make sure you go back and watch it. Such a rad place. But we took a train up here to the Harley Davidson dealer and we picked up this bad boy. We documented that because it is a day to remember. Just gone to the Harley Davidson dealership here in Legnano, Italy, guys, just outside of Milan. We're picking up a motorcycle to cruise around <laughs> all around this area for the next couple days. I'm stoked. I have not seen the bike yet. Let's go check it out. <laughs> So bashful getting on that. Guys, it's been a little while. I know you've just been riding scooters and four wheelers. How I've are you gonna scooters do? Scooters all over Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel has been waiting for this moment. Every scooter I've made him rent has led to this moment. <laughs> Here we are. Guys, this is a brand new 2022 Street Glide Limited. Oh boy, it's got all the bells and whistles. It has things I've never even seen before on the Harley. It has traction control you can turn on if it's raining. We've got hand warmers here for the grips. If my handsies get a little coldsy, oh, I just turn it on. And your fingers <laughs> get cold. Right and sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> Guys, we got a full sound system on here. This is incredible. This is beautiful blue, black, two-tone color. Holy smokes. We got the whole tour pack on back. This thing holds holds a ton of stuff. We've got Shell's throne back here. Oh, I'm so excited for that. We got the side bags. I'm ready to put some miles on this sucker Let's do because it. this thing is the epitome of comfort when it comes to a motorcycle. Like, Luxury. Holy Ooh, something else I love that I have not seen before on the street glide. We got fog lamps up front. We don't have a single light. We've got three lights up there. I love it, guys. This is gonna be so nice. As you guys know, we obviously travel very light. We didn't have any room in the carry-ons or camera bags for the helmets and motorcycle gear. So they have been so awesome to set us up with some gear here. We've got our helmets, we've got some jackets. There may or may not be rain in the forecast while we have this bike, but that's not going to stop us because we've got waterproof gear here. <laughs> they were kind enough. We've got our gloves. I'm ready to go. Let's get this thing. Yeah, this is I awesome. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pack this thing out, hit the road. If you did not know, Europe has a ton of Harley Davidson dealers as well as Eagle Rider rental locations. So if you come to Europe and you think, I'm not in the land of Harleys, guess what? You actually are. You can get Harley Davidsons, you can rent them in all sorts of places in Europe, especially here in Milan. And cruise this beautiful place in style, you guys. It's so much better than a scooter! <laughs> We have quite the questionable forecast for the day, for the next couple days actually, but we're gonna hit the road anyways. We got weatherproof gear, we got great helmets, we got the best bike with traction control in the world, so I'm not too worried about it. Me neither, and we got the best driver around. <laughs> That's <laughs> the least true of all of them. Uh, yeah, right, if you guys missed our Road to Hana, treacherous, we almost died day, go back and watch it right now because this dude, I mean, people were pulling over and like applauding Daniel's skills and his, what is it, your agileness? Yeah. I don't know what the word is. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> Not gonna happen people. today, guys. Shelly's got the big cushy seat back here. Oh, I got my freaking lazy boy back there. It's so cozy. You ready to go? Yeah, happy anniversary. <laughs> that was so <laughs> uncomfortable for everyone to watch. <laughs>
All right guys, we are just getting up to Lake Como. If you know what Lake Como looks like, it kind of looks like the flux capacitor from Back to the Future. From what? Back to the Future. <laughs> it's got three legs and we are on the bottom eastern leg. We just passed the town of Lecho and we're getting our first views of the lake right now and it's starting to rain. <laughs> Shelly's gearing up with her waterproof jacket there. Okay guys. <laughs> oh, hi, Shell. Gotta put my rain gear on here. Starting to rain. Guys, it was like sunny skies on the way up here, and I was like, yep, today's our day. Today is our day. And guess what? Today still is our day. It is our day. It's our freaking anniversary. Rain or shine, it's our day. Yeah, rain or shine, it's our day. And we've got rain gear, so I'm not even worried about it. Thank you, Harley Davidson, for getting me my sick rain jacket. Boom. Here. That's gonna be nice. We've never really yeah. had legit rain gear. I've never had legit rain gear. I've never even tried on legit rain gear. <laughs> guess what? Boom! I even have pants. Oh, are you gonna use them? Well, I don't know, I didn't try them on. This is legitimate. I'm for real, guys, I'm for real. You're gonna be nice and dry. I have the proper footwear here. Nice Harley Davidson boots. Oh, wait a minute. White tennis shoes. <laughs> come off my head today. Oh my gosh, it's coming down harder. Oh boy. We still see some blue skies, some open clouds up that way. We're heading up to Bellagio, which is kind of right in the center of that flux capacitor of Lake Como. No we gotta go, babe. Now. It's right, coming. We gotta suit up and Load go. Up. <laughs> Just got up to the town of Bellagio. <laughs> Guys, this town is mellow and Very beautiful. Mellow. Maybe because it's like kind of crummy weather today, but I really feel like that's working for our advantage. We got a little bit of rain on the way here. My jacket's waterproof. Shelly had full okay. water protection. I am so glad that we asked them for waterproof stuff because we did look ahead. Yes, okay, the bucket hat's back. And Daniel I thinks it. I look like. What do you think I look like? You look like a sailor. Maybe we should go sailor. find a boat. <gasps> I do want to go find a boat. <laughs> I'm no. so glad that we asked for waterproof gear because we knew that it was going to potentially rain on us. You guys, I was suited up. Pants, jacket, the whole shebang. I'm completely dry. Really good. Just had the wrong footwear, but you know, yeah. we're traveling light here, not. folks. We're just walking up to, I guess you would call the old town, the town center of Bellagio. Town center. You think they got a Chipotle there? You know, guys, I've in been Googling center. Chipotle wherever we go. No one has them. They're no only in the U.S. Chipotle. We'll get some when we go home. <laughs> Next anniversary. Next anniversary. We're doing Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> decided to have a nice pizza lunch here waterfront because you know how do you not when you're in beautiful Lake Como we had our fancy anniversary dinner as you guys know at the Grotta Palacente restaurant and boy was that something we will never ever forget so today you could say we're keeping a little bit more simple but I mean mm -hmm. there's nothing simple about this incredible <laughs> view to my left here that looks good that's yeah, not that's traditional no this isn't We 
just finished our very mediocre pizza at our very beautiful lunch spot. I mean, Luigi back from Naples would have been sincerely disappointed in he that would pizza. Have. He would have smelled it and not eaten it. He told us that he can tell if the pizza's good just by smelling it. It smells the dough. He would have smelled that and not eaten it. The location <laughs> was 10 out of 10. The pizza definitely came out of the freezer section of a grocery store. <laughs> oh my gosh. It but was I don't all even for the care view. Because we do it for the view. Shell's one of those people. The ambiance is much more important than the food. Whereas 100%. me, the food trumps all. Him and I actually but. are very different in that way. He's always much more about the food. And the truth is, is the places that he picks always has such better food. And then the places that I pick it's are beautiful. definitely more just about the view and the feel and the vibe and like where it's at. The view from right here though, we came up to the very point of Bellagio. And you can see one leg goes off that way. The other leg goes off that way. Leg. Como, where we came from. And what's this leg? Straight in front of you. Oh, leg number three goes north, very far. <laughs> we're at the very bottom of this. Found a little staircase, walked down here on this little platform, and we're just taking in almost 360 degree views right now. It's pretty yeah, this cool. This is incredible. Rain's starting to come down a little bit more again. I need my water clothes back on. I'm gonna have to go grab Shelly's water clothes, throw them back on. Do you on. think I could jump in the water with those? <laughs> Look at all those fish. I think she should walk around town in them personally, but she didn't want to. <laughs> if anyone out there hasn't ever heard of Lake Como, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Lake Como. <laughs> <laughs> Dalla Dalla Bills. This is the vacation destination for the rich and the famous. And I can see why. This place is absolutely stunning. There are many of celebrities out there who have homes here. The only one that I know of actually is George Clooney. And who doesn't love George Clooney? <laughs> <laughs> but I know there's a ton more of celebrities who have vacation homes here on Lake Como. And you know what? I wouldn't mind having a home here on Lake Como. <laughs> Once again, guys, the rain has basically demolished all the crowds. There's no one out here. We have the entire walkway to ourselves. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> I don't even care that it's raining. It's beautiful. I just wish I had my rain gear on. I'm gonna go get her rain gear, hit the road, <laughs> head back towards Como and beyond. <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> ride back I would say. It was a torrential downpour, literally pouring rain on us the whole way back. Guys, it was snowing. Legitimately, there was snow falling from the sky and on the road, like. It was building up. There was kind of a lot of snow, like in between the lanes and on the yeah. shoulder. Was it was like, crazy. I'm not changing lanes. <laughs> no, it was crazy. Luckily, I had my rain gear on, which actually kept me very dry. My feet were absolutely soaked. Turns out on running shoes are not the not proper weatherproof. weatherproof footwear for riding a motorcycle in a torrential downpour. <laughs> I was getting some serious Road to Hana flashbacks. If you guys have not seen our Road to Hana video where we took a Harley Davidson motorcycle and drove the entirety of the Road to Hana, you need to go watch it because it was it's honestly like so incredible. I mean, that was like a downpour for like three plus hours straight. I mean, there are moments where I was like, we're not gonna make it. This was not that bad. Definitely pouring rain, but we weren't on the motorcycle for as long and we were in like weatherproof ish gear this time. Whereas on Road to Hana, I was in like shorts and a t-shirt. I had a denim and vest. Tivas. Denim vest and swimmers on. Yeah. <laughs> that is one thing that made a huge difference in the rain on Road to Hana versus the rain today was just the gear we had. We mm -hmm. had the right gear, the helmets with the visors. It was very easy to throw down. The water just <laughs> Slipped yeah, that's the right, because Road to Hana, we just had halfsy helmets and, and sunglasses. sunglasses. Your rain gear, my coat was waterproof, my pants were soaked. Soaked. And water was <laughs> oh 
pulling up on my seat. I was sitting was in a puddle. So funny. Because he didn't have waterproof pants on. Luckily, I got like the full get up. That was but, so much yeah. fun, though. That oh was my a blast. gosh. That's Bucket street list glide. for sure. Cruising Lake Como on a Harley Davidson. I mean, I'm not sure it gets much better than that. I mean, I know it was raining, but it wasn't raining the whole time, okay? <laughs> no, that was so much fun. And I got to say, the street glide, you wouldn't have ever known there was water on the ground. That thing handles so well. I was super impressed. I dare say that's the nicest motorcycle we've ever ridden. I think that's one of the nicest motorcycles we've ever ridden. It's brand new. It's 2022. It was so nice. Traction and control. So I just hit a button, softens up all the controls. It was very powerful, but it was just like, I feel like it responded to everything you were doing. So, I mean, what do I know? I'm just sitting in the back, but <laughs> I felt very safe and it was a downpour. So that's not the last ride we're going to be doing in this area. We're stoked to have the Harley for another day or so, and we're going to go make the most of it. So, definitely stay tuned for some of that. Plus, we have another very rad location here in Italy that we will be hitting up before leaving the country. Italy has been just the best. We have loved our time. It's so here. awesome. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Honestly, it has been so incredible. We have one more place we're going to go. You guys will find that out in a couple videos. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. And we hope to see you all in our next video. See you guys.